hello uh, let us go through the general uh, format of an essay so an essay has got the parts introduction the body and the conclusion but before we go through that uh, my name is Ted Mbuthi I'll be your tutor for the academic writing training so to ensure that you acquire the writing skills in readiness for the high season I've put down guidelines to help you grasp the skills in a more easy way kindly go through the guidelines that are set and you want to create this guideline will help you understand the various referencing styles including APA, MLA and Harvard now the most important thing to understand when writing an essay is the thesis statement what is a thesis statement a thesis statement is a sentence uh, that gives the aim or the goal of the essay or the research paper it is usually written as the last sentence of the first paragraph yes the thesis statement must always be there in every paper. Um, this is usually provided at the end of the first paragraph, the last sentence of the introduction paragraph. Whereby, if you if you don't put the thesis statement, the reader will not understand what you're talking about. Now, uh, another thing to understand when writing an uh, an essay is the division of the paragraphs whereby the introduction the introductory sentence must introduce an idea which is to be discussed throughout the paragraph and have a concluding sentence so this means that each paragraph must have something known as the topic sentence a topic sentence is the first sentence of each paragraph that carries the main idea or what the paragraph will be about so uh, if, if you're talking about uh, just one concept, make sure you explain it through that paragraph. Don't introduce another idea to confuse the reader. Now, a paragraph must have uh, five to seven sentences, whereby one or two sentences uh, is a short paragraph. And also, writing a whole page as one paragraph is also too long. So I would prefer you take uh, five, around five to seven sentences at most. That will be the normal, uh, the, mon the normal length of a paragraph in writing an essay. Okay. So uh, the conclusion part of an essay uh, is uh, gives the summary or a recap of what the essay is about. So. Uh, no new information is added at the conclusion. We talked about maybe five points in the uh, in the body. Don't include the sixth point in the conclusion. Ensure that you ex we exhaust all points at the body so that when you come to the conclusion part, you're just giving a recap or a summary. Another thing that you should note is a uh, translation and paraphrasing uh, writers are required to be writing uh, ideas for, on their own whereby if you research make sure that you understand what you, what you want to write in your own words whereby you are not allowed to paraphrase word by word see if you do that there's something known as plagiarism you will see in our next uh, chapter whereby you, you you copy someone's idea without acknowledging the source, without acknowledging the author. So that's not allowed. So writers that do that will not um, will not get the will not be paid or the the their assignments will be cancelled. So it's important that you adhere to the rules of uh, avoiding plagiarism at all costs. So don't paraphrase. Read understand and write in your own words hope that is clear now let us talk about grammar uh, in writing an essay we normally use the third person 
uh, unless advised otherwise uh, don't use i i did this we or you you see always uh, write uh, your essay in the third person yeah, you you use uh, uh, words like uh, it she they he but the first person and second person is not allowed unless you are required by the client to use that okay uh, no contractions no using of uh, uh, idiomatic exp expressions no fragile verbs uh, no colloquial terms you know uh, the sentence should not be too short or too long when a sentence is too long uh, look for a way of uh, of splitting the the sentence into two so that you cannot so that you don't confuse the reader if you confuse the reader you may we might end up losing a lot of marks yes and then one thing uh, to understand is that an essay is a continuous prose whereby we don't use uh, bullet points because uh, bullet points mostly are used in when making powerpoint presentations like this one yes but in an essay uh, our points must be flowing so it's a continuous prose you don't just uh, insert numbers or bullets all right let's continue no listing of information especially when it comes to providing dates of birth of poets politicians etc okay no conjunctions at the beginning of the sentence you can start a sentence with words like but you know or and they existed this and this that is wrong. no rhetorical questions if it is not a requirement you don't uh, just give uh, some questions that don't require answers just write everything the way it is you know don't confuse the reader because confusion is very 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 wrong okay uh, one of the most important thing that you, you need to understand is uh referencing the referencing is very important because if you don't uh put the right references you will end up uh getting pl plagiarism you know, which is very wrong eh? yes only english sources are valid are valid sorry inaccurate sources usage is the main demand for a refund so a refund uh, is whereby uh, a client pays for you to to research uh, or to do a project for them then you end up not fulfilling the requirements the client will be forced to ask for refund which is very bad because uh, they will not trust you again you lose clients meaning that you lose money so you have to be keen on this Writers must understand that about.com, answers.com, ehow.com, Wikipedia, Sparknotes, and etc. are not valid sources. Uh, the, one of the most important things to understand is that you should uh, be using uh, sources like Google Scholar, whereby there are peer-reviewed sources. Uh, if you if you see sites like Wikipedia, anyone can edit information. So if you reference that, it's very, very wrong, yeah? I will tell you about referencing in our next session. Scholarly sources must be used only. When it comes to books and articles, which can be found online, these sources must have an author, a date, and a place of publication, as well as volume and number. That also we'll learn when we, when we go to the next session where I will talk about how to reference you know uh, they use up-to-date sources published within the last five years in rare cases 10 years okay this uh, says that don't use uh, sources that are 1950s you know because information changes every day always use the new editions whereby it's a requirement that you use five year range for 10 years that will be Correct, those are sources that are acceptable. Falsification of sources details is forbidden. Some writers change the dates of publication of all sources into more recent ones. Um, this is a very, very big problem because 
if you do this and the source, the source is not found anywhere, then there will be a penalty. So let us be careful when handling these cases. Please remember that sources are being checked by editors and then customers and, and then customers professors. So uh, in these accounts that we, we get jobs from, there are editors employed by the company to check the work before it's submitted to the, to the client or the student. So you need to, to, to ensure that you, you look, you check well your grammar, sources, everything to be good before you submit the paper. If it's proven that the source is inaccurate, the writer will be penalized and the order might be reassigned to another writer or even refunded. So you should be careful so that you don't waste each other's time. Let us understand everything as it is, as it is and we'll have no problems at all. Uh, thank you. Kind regards. If you have any questions, let me know. My email is tedmuthi at gmail.com. You can call, text, or WhatsApp me at uh, plus 254-0706-581-590. Let us meet in the next class. Thank you so much for uh, listening to this uh, section.